Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler, and welcome to High View. Let's check out this one. But again, before we do, right there is the link for my resale app. Up above is the link for my new construction website. You can go to either one of those links or scan the QR code with your mobile phone and it will take you directly to them. Completely free to use. Let's check out this one. So, we are in Inspirata today. I'm gonna give a quick pan, quick spin. I do like this area. We are in Henderson. It's a community called Inspirata pretty much as far south as you can go in the entire valley. Pretty nice area. Today we're going to be looking at a new construction community known as High View. This one is a tri-point home. Today we are touring the Plan 3, but before we start about it, if you are thinking about buying new, you wanna buy new, considering buying new construction, give me a call right away before you call the agents inside at the models, before you visit them, before you email the builder, call me. Let me work on your behalf because if you go and see them in person, you email them, you're going to work directly with the sales associates and unfortunately, they don't represent you. They represent the builder. They have their fiduciary responsibility to the builder. So if you want representation, give me a call. And fun fact, they actually pay the commission. You don't. So coming on into this one, this is the plan through the three. You're going to have the two car garage. The front door is right over here. A little bit about this one. This one is 1,924 square feet. Three bedroom, two and a half baths, two car garage. You can get the optional primary bath shower, bathroom two shower, and the upper cabinets at the laundry. So they do have quite a few options and upgrades. Now again, this one's going to start at 457. So 457,000. Lots are gonna range anywhere between one and ten thousand dollars. On average, people are putting about forty thousand dollars into it. The HOA is 186 a month. Now, again, these are gonna be very different inside. They're not gonna be forty thousand dollars worth. There's probably close to a hundred thousand dollars into it. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, if you could do me that huge favor and hit the like button. Also, make sure to subscribe. Now, I want a question real quick, right off the bat, for everyone. Do you like the front door on the side of the place or do you like it up front? I always get different reviews from it, or different comments from different people. It's always interest, interesting to see. Now, we have our side gate leading on into our little backyard, but coming on in, nice. It is very open. Now again, lots and lots of options and upgrades. The railing for sure, the flooring for sure, countertops, cabinets, I'll point out everything. Again, average person is putting about $40,000 into these, but these probably have closer to like $100,000 worth of options. That's just how they do it in the models. It's like going to the showroom for buying a car. They're gonna put one with all the bells and whistles, but it is pretty open again for, what is this, a little over 1,900 square feet. Very nice. Let's go ahead and go on upstairs. We'll come back down, we'll see everything. Again, if you have any questions about anything you're seeing in this tour, a different tour, new construction or resale, give me a call. All my info is down in the description below. So, this is pretty neat with this huge open area. I don't know, would you put something up here? But again, this is gonna be a pony wall, big loft. We'll come back to it. I wanna see what's this way. This is my first time in these models. Right on here, we do have our laundry room. I do like the wallpaper. I know every time I film these, the wallpaper comes out so strange on camera just because I shoot with it zoomed all the way out, but Usually with TriPoint, you could put the uppers if you so choose. Again, that is an additional fee. Coming on in to our first bedroom. So normally you're gonna get what they call a J box. All of this additional lighting is an option. I don't know if this room would need the additional lighting. It is so nice to have it. I always tell people get the extra lighting, but with this size, you probably don't need it. Definitely in the larger rooms, you want it. We have our closet with the optional divisions and whatnot. But 
As far as options, I don't like to tell people how to spend their money, but pick the structural options. You can always change flooring, you can always paint the cabinets. To do lighting, it's not that difficult to do, but it does cost a lot more later on. And pick the bigger options, pick those uh, structural ones, pick that extra bedroom if you so need it. Pick the bigger sliding door. If the builder options have the ability to do a nine foot ceiling instead of an eight foot ceiling downstairs, that's a big one that people like. Second bedroom. This is an incredible view. So right there is the Las Vegas Strip. You can see the entire strip, but unfortunately these are all lots. So over time that is probably gonna get blocked, but for right now, really, really nice view. Coming back on into the room, we have our walk-in closet. Two door, or I'm sorry, single door, but we do have double bar and shelf. Do you like the window? I don't know. I guess you could put maybe a tall dresser in here just because I feel like with this, you do have the full-size bed, you have the two nightstands, you have a dresser out here, but I feel like you might be able to sneak a desk over there, put the tall dresser in the closet. Coming back on out straight across, but before we get there, we have our linens and really nice bathroom. So double vanity, I'm just gonna check. They are the bumpers. I don't know if they have the ability to do soft closing here, but what I would do is go to Lowe's or Home Depot, get the different hinges. You can do that. Nice. And there's so much lighting in this. I know I am adding extra lighting to my bathrooms. There's the vanity light and this shower gets so dim, but you have your toilet, fiberglass composite tub, you have your tub filler, your valve, and your shower head. One of the nice things about the composite is it's easier to clean. I know some people want tile. I don't know if they offer it here, but it is easier to clean since there's no grout lines. Coming on out and back around. Nice big loft. Let's see, can you even do? <laughs> no, because sometimes I know they offer the ability to turn this into another bedroom, not here. We have more linens or storage. And then we get into the master primary suite. This is nice. King size bed, two nightstands. They even did the can lighting in here. This size room, I would definitely do can lighting in, just because it is a bigger room. It will feel dark, unless you do a bunch of lamps, which you can always do. We have our dresser. Right here is the pool. So, depending on where you are in the community, you might be this close, you might be on the other side. Again, just depends on your preference. You might wanna be able to watch the kids right here. You may want to be completely away from it, just because of potential noise. Coming on into the bathroom. So they opted for a shower only. So again, fiberglass composite. You have your bench, you have your little shelf. There's your shower head. And I know in their other models, they had an option for like a car wash and it got rid of this little closet and turned it into like a mega shower. So I wonder if they have it here. But we have a little his and hers shower um, closets. So, or hers and hers, I know with my fiance it would be that way. But again, interesting wallpaper. We have our toilet and I do appreciate that when the doors open in, you can actually stand in front of the toilet, not up on the bowl and get out. But here we do have our main closet and it's actually quite big. So single bar and shelf all the way around. Pretty nice bathroom huh what do you think about it so far leave a comment down below this loft is nice I feel like people would spend a lot of time up here also downstairs is so open so I feel like more formal is gonna be downstairs again this is gonna be the playroom there's a lot you can do with it let me just get over here so you can see everything I love how many windows they have Let's go ahead, head back down stairs, check out the kitchen. Let's see if we could sneak out back and wrap up this tour. 
Again, if you have any questions at all regarding new construction, resales, anything in between, you need help uh, seeing what you qualify for, I can put you in touch with the lender. So give me a call. All my info is down in the description below. Before we see again the main area, right here, we have our coat closet and it actually goes pretty far in. I just wish it's a little dark in there. I wish they had put a light in there. Right here's our two car garage. Unfortunately, they always keep these locked and we have our powder room. Again, nice cabinets, nice countertops. And it does go underneath the stairs. Trust me, I don't know if you can see, I'm six foot, there's the edge. It wouldn't hit me. So, interesting wallpaper. I know that the wallpaper is really making a comeback nowadays. But again, downstairs feels very, very open. So we have our living area. I'm gonna come all the way over and spin around just so you can see it. We have our dining area just across and we have our kitchen. Now again, upgrade cabinets, upgraded countertop. They did the backsplash. Normally it will be without backsplash. You can pick whatever cabinets you want. They have a couple different options. Same with the countertops. And then if you want to add other options, you can do so. But we have our overhang for our bar stools. Oh, they kind of went all out on the cabinets. Now usually it's gonna be door and door. They did the pot and pan drawers. So these are probably gonna be soft closing, just, oh, I couldn't tell. But those are for your pots and pans, which are nice. We have our 40 inch uppers. We have a double oven. Our five burner cooktop. We have our stainless steel microwave and I always like to check. It does vent outside. Before we head down, I was just trying to see if there was lighting underneath. And we are missing some lights on right now. The entire kitchen is dark. They even have a trash door or drawer. Right here is your sink, your undermounted stainless steel. Here is your view. And again, they even added the pendant lights. So just remember when you're seeing this model in this tour, it's not going to be the home you the base model home. This has a lot of options. This probably has at least $100,000 in it. But coming on down, we have more pot and pan drawers. I like how many outlets there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six outlets on the kitchen area. Nice stainless steel fridge. We have our uppers and we have our pantry. Does it go back behind? Nope, but nice. Very nice. Let's go ahead and see if we could sneak outside really quickly. Now again, if you're gonna buy new, it's up to you to finish the backyard however you so choose. It's going to be dirt. So, since these are gonna be pretty small, figure uh, maybe 10,000-ish, but it's just gonna be dirt. You're gonna to have to get the rock, you're gonna to have to get the uh, pavers, you're gonna to have to get everything, so budget for that when you buy new. Again, if you have questions, give me a call. All my info is down in the description, but really nice place. I wanna know what you think about it. Leave a comment down below. Again, if you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button. Also, make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.